General Hospital Spoilers reveals that it's been a long time since Joss and Trina had a chance to talk to each other. Since the Nurses' Ball Festival ended, the two of them have not seen each other. Actually, Trina got into some trouble, so she wasn't in Port Charles. Everyone knows Trina boarded Victor's Haunted Star and got into a bunch of trouble. It was the ship Victor used to escape, so Trina was accidentally taken to Greenland. Fortunately, Trina was rescued and returned to Port Charles safely. After this trip, Trina and Spencer also became closer than ever. The two of them officially became a couple, although Portia was not supportive of the relationship. Joss is also overjoyed that Trina has finally found her happiness. As a close friend to Trina, Joss only hopes that Trina and Spencer can maintain this affection for as long as possible. With Trina's personality, she won't be afraid of her mother's objections. Meanwhile, Ava gets a call from Nicholas, and Nicholas's voice on the phone really haunts Ava. Although Nicholas didn't mention anything about what happened in the past, but because Ava was the one who harmed Nicholas, she was naturally quite frightened. However, in that phone call, Ava could only vaguely hear his cry for help. Nicholas begged Ava to save him, and as soon as he finished the call, was cut off. Ava had no information other than Nicholas's cry for help. Ava guesses Nicholas is still alive, but she doesn't understand who kidnapped and imprisoned him. Why didn't Nicholas call the others for help, but instead call Ava? Does Ava plan to save Nicholas or not? This is confusing Ava, because if Nicholas returned to Port Charles safely, wouldn't Ava's attack on Nicholas be revealed? In another development, everyone was sure and confirmed that Ned was the one who accused Carly of insider trading to the SEC. Because of this, Carly is likely to end up in jail. If the real culprit is Ned, then he really is a coward, because using this trick to harm Carly is not worthy of a gentleman. However, even though everyone criticized him as the culprit, he firmly denied it. Ned says he has absolutely no intention of harming Carly and that he will never report her. But the previous threat, Ned said, because he was too angry to say it, he had no intention of doing it. Only Brooke was the one who believed Ned who didn't do this, and Olivia was still undecided whether to trust Ned or not. Ned was still trying to prove his innocence to get Olivia on his side.